go. Kicks it back outside. Preston just flips it. Every time out in the second half we came, we just talked about the next four minutes and trying to embrace being in this situation, playoff basketball and uh, executing and doing the things that we know we need to do to win the game. And fortunately, we had the last shot, obviously a, a back and forth game. Wagner was making plays, we made some plays, and uh, you know, we were lucky enough to have the last shot to put ourselves in a position to play on uh, Tuesday in the championship game. That game was... Uh, very similar to some of the games that we played at the end of the regular season. You look back at the Wagner game at our place that went into overtime and you know some big shots were made in that game to put us in a position to get the overtime. And um, you know it, it's this team continues to grow up obviously much as we talked about with their youth and, and inexperience. But each time they step out the floor they get more experience and, and they get a little bit older and they've been able to take those experiences both good and bad and learn from them. Play fearless. You know, it, we are who we are, 30 some games into it. And um, you know, we put ourselves uh, you know, one, one game away from the NCAA tournament. And uh, it, it's gonna be a great atmosphere. We have a chance to play the number one team. Mount St. Mary's, give them credit. They won the regular season championship and they have the opportunity to host here. And you know, Jamie has done a tremendous job with his group. They got two really good guards. And the tough thing about Mount St. Mary's is you know, they, they've got multiple pieces and they've got some versatile kids so we're going to have to make sure we do our job paying attention to detail and uh, making things difficult for them here on their home court and uh, but i want our guys to come out and play fearless have fun you know at the end of at the end of the day it is a game and um, want them to to embrace the opportunity but as soon as that thing hits uh 20 minutes and it's seven o'clock it's time to play with that sense of urgency and and play together and uh, i know these guys will and they're excited about the opportunity in front of them this team is a ton of fun to coach and and they're very close it's the closest team that i've been around um on and off the court and uh that's a credit to our captains you and jamal and josh and the ability to keep guys together you know in the midst maybe of a losing streak or a bad a bad spurt in the game and um you know some adversity um, you know that's a part of every college basketball season you know, they've done a tremendous job of keeping this group close and uh, they have a lot of fun together and uh, as a coach and as a staff we enjoy coming in every day and they're eager to learn it's it's one of those things where you, know, you have to uh, you know as a coach you, you might have a, an idea or a, a something that you want to do or about play those guys have to be willing and uh, they've, they've done that all year for 100 plus practices and, and they put themselves here in a position to, to play one more game in March.